Um, I'm going to show you really quickly how to play around with speed ramping in Avid Media Composer. Uh, so here's my clip and my sequence. And what you'll do is you'll come up to your effects bin and then time warp, time warp. And just drag that onto your clip and you'll have an emotion effect, emotion effect editor come up. If it doesn't come up, uh, I have it as shift E, um, but you'll just, you know, make it come up. And then you'll want to open both these. You really don't have to open the position, but I like to see them anyways. All right, this clip isn't really made for speed ramping, um, but you'll get the idea. So let's just say we want to start her off normal, um, walk for a few seconds, and then really speed ramp up to a certain point, and then go back down to normal. So what you'll do is you'll add a couple keyframes right here, and then let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 frames, and then we're gonna do that for the come back down. All right, so this little tool right here will make it, you can see more or less, and then hold option, and that'll drag your, okay. So I'll just drag this middle keyframe up, and then maybe move this over a little bit, and then move this over a little bit. To move your keyframes, again, you hit option, and it'll move it, um, uh, right to left, so option and hold, it'll kind of lock it in and move it right to left. If you just uh, grab your keyframe, it'll go up and down. So, yeah, little trick there. Okay, so as you can see, it's sped up a little bit, but it's not probably to where I want it to be. I want it to be like here, all right? So what I'll do is I'll just raise this so I can see a faster speed, really boost it up. Mm probably a little bit too much because I want it to be right about here. Mm, so I'll lower it a little bit. There we are. Mm, you know, I'll just play this, see what it does. Yeah, all right, that looks terrible, but you get the idea. Um, so let's do this and let's make it a little bit smoother. Right click on your keyframe and let's make it bezier and then just kind of Drag that so it's a nice, easy ease. All right. And then I also want to easy ease it in. And then I'm going to make it a little faster. Bring it in a little bit. It's like that. All right. So I'll probably need to go a little faster still. Yeah, that's better here. All right. And actually, let's just do some slow motion. So what I'll do is really raise this up, bring it out, and then let's bring it down to like 70, that's 50%. Let's go 20, let's go 32%. All right, so we'll go slow motion. So she's walking, speeds up, and then slow motion. Now you notice a little shaky up there, all right? Um, you can do this thing called keyframe, what is it, fluid motion. So you just change your, you know, field type. I don't know what that is really. But let's say fluid motion is going to be your best in terms of if you want to really blend those fields. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I'll show you what it looks like. And I'm not going to render the whole thing because that would be... Um, a lot so what I'll do is as, as you can see too is when you have this open and you're moving around uh, you'll notice the clip on the right so as you drag it you can see exactly where you are so I'm just gonna go to here say and um, just kind of cut it where am I in the sequence delete that and then there we go and then you'll probably have to render that if it's in fluid motion um, so I'm going to go ahead and render that. And it takes a second to render, especially when it's a fluid motion option here, just because it's rendering a lot of frames. I'm not going to cut this out because, um, well, I just don't like to spend too much time on these tutorials because i got a lot to do. And um, I'm a little bored today, guys. As you can tell with my talking... I don't have a lot to say. I'm kind of just...
Pasqua. How's your day going? Yeah, it takes a long time to render. Sorry. You can skip through on the YouTube or whatever. I made some coffee. I'm working on perfecting my coffee making skills. Still not very good. I think it's the water I'm using, but maybe it's the heat of the water. Maybe it's the grind of my bean. It's really hard to tell. It's just not the same as when I go into the coffee shop, but I'm doing okay. <laughs> I get really bored on renders. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to cut this out. I feel bad. Kind of. But we're learning, right? We're learning the real life of an editor. How long it really takes. Okay, good. So we're set. So now, I'm just going to make this smaller so that you can still see it going along. But, you know, you can scrub through. And now, when I play it, walk, speed up. Then really slow. And look how smooth that is. Yeah, it's nice. All right. Well, those are the basics of speed ramping. Um, if that's all you wanted to learn, you can leave. Um, you can also continue it on uh, if you were to add some more keyframes in here. Right? So, woo. Right? And then you could add another keyframe and go down back to normal speed. Suddenly... You know, I'll just take off uh, what it was so I'll be able to play it. You know, going. Yeah, great. Uh, it looks really terrible, but that's essentially speed ramping. Um, yeah. I don't think I have anything else to say. Naturally, if you have any questions, comment below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I, I don't care if you subscribe. Um, and, um, I hope, uh, wish you the best in all your avid learning endeavors. Jeez, this is, this is a really bad tutorial, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm even posting this, but I'm going to. It's professionalism. <laughs>